Well, welcome back. After spending three days in Moab at the KOA and visiting Arches and Canyonlands National Parks, I head over to Capitol Reef where I have overnight reservations at the Fruta Campground. We'll see what that's all about. Here's a little bit of the scenery we passed along the way. After entering the park boundaries, there wasn't a pay station. Um, came across a petroglyph panel. I had difficulty finding the uh, drawings, but the uh, couple next to me said they saw a few. So the plan is to get set up at the uh, Fruta Campground and then take the afternoon and uh, enjoy the rest of the park, the eight mile scenic uh, drive through the canyon. Head back to the campground, enjoy the rest of the evening, and then head out to Bryce in the morning. to the visitor center. We'll go in here and see what's going on with the campground. This is the uh, Fruta area. I guess there was a community here one time and they planted fruit trees. Well, there's some of the fruit trees in Fruta. This is more for backcountry people, off jeeps and uh, tent camping and uh, that type of adventure. I don't think it's really for just getting out with your motor home and driving around and seeing seeing the highlights. Uh, but hey, it's a nice park. We'll, we'll make we'll see what's see what's what. Well, there's the campground. Let's uh, see. I think I'm in Loop A. Zero zero nine. Site nine. I think that line is that one right there, at the very end. Through the campground. Yeah, that's 50, 60 sites. I just got all set up. Wish I had a little more shade, but uh, no power uh, or hookups. Water or sewer. There's water available here somewhere. There's the, the rest, rest areas restrooms. I don't think they have any showers. But you couldn't ask for a more scenic uh, little campground. It's about a mile from the visitor center. And I haven't, I've yet to see an entry uh, station where you pay to come into the park, but maybe that's further down the road. The Guilford House and Museum. It's a little store also. We'll take a walk over there and see what that's all about. They, uh, I would imagine that was the original orchard uh, people attended the Mormons that tended the orchards here. Well, the Guilford House. Supposedly they got some mean cinnamon rolls in here. We'll go check that out. See what's going on. Okay, he wasn't lying. They do have the cinnamon rolls, huh? We do. Okay. Well, I gotta try one of these guys. Well, the cinnamon rolls are delicious. A little, a little doughier than I thought, but they're all, they're like a pie. <laughs> Go serve as lunch. But boy, they're good. Now the scenes along Capitol Reef, the scenic drive, is eight miles. It's a nice drive, nice and scenic. This goes on for eight miles. A few pretty well maintained dirt roads at the end of it that go on in the other canyons. Uh, but I think I've seen enough. That'd be a chore getting a wagon through here. Hikers area. 
realize how difficult it would be getting around in the day until, until you come out here. Uh, they had a chore. Anyway, I'm going to head on into the town of Torrey, which is a little bit outside, and get some gas, and then head back to the uh, RV and have a, an adult beverage and enjoy the view. So, Capitol Reef, uh, if you're a, a backpacker or a uh, hiker or a off-road vehicle type person, you'd probably enjoy it, but uh, I'll stay with uh, the Canyonlands. That's that's not one of my favorite parks. Well, these are the scenes along uh, 24, Highway 24, headed into uh, Mori, I believe, 11 miles outside of the park. After getting fuel in Torrey, I returned to the campground just in time for the evening entertainment. These, these guys provided quite a show. Sunset at Capitol Reef. <laughs> 